ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> we got a new we got a new trailer for Venom: The Last Dance. That is that's not the working title for that movie. That is the title of that movie. That is what went into the Library of Congress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. Venom movie it is, man. So well, before we, yeah, let's talk about that for a second. Let's yeah, talk let's about talk Venom: about Venom, The Last Dance. What are we? What are we doing? What 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 are we? We're ending the trilogy. That's what we're doing at this point. Like I, you know, I I did this on another show where somebody asked me like what I thought. Like how what do you think? And I was like, I think it looks exactly as good as Let There Be Carnage. Yeah, man. You know that's the the, the that's a good point because watching it, I don't think it looks bad, right? I believe it's Kelly Marcel is directing it. I believe it's her directing debut. She co-wrote the other two movies, like oh, it just. Cool. On its own, I w- I'll tell you this. I saw it when I first saw it, I like woke up and um, was it on Twitter or something? And so I was watching it real yeah. quick, muted. Cause you know, I think, like, wow. am I going to go see this on a bigger screen? And I'm like, yeah. man, this looks, this actually looks pretty cool. And then I listened to the dialogue where they're fumbling through the We Are Venom bit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, man, these movies are, are not for me. These movies are not my favorite. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is a very diplomatic way of saying it. Yeah, uh, it's, I, I think it'll be better than Madam Web. That's what I'll have to say. Oh, uh, listen, another low bar. I, I would argue, like all the other Venom movies, better than Morbius probably. I bet it'll be better than, well, it better be more watchable than Morbius. Okay, so I, I, a couple things I've been trying to decode watching this movie. Yeah. And one of them is... We see the guy from Ted Lasso at the bar oh my God. find yeah, the Danny goop. Rojas. <laughs> and she would tell Ejiofor, stops him from grabbing the goop. And she will tell Ejiofor, appears to be one of the antagonists in this movie. Yeah. But if I remember correctly, I did not go revisit this. Wasn't Danny Rojas in, an, in the MCU universe? <laughs> he certainly was. He literally blesses Tony Stark and then prays. So, yes. Like, what does no, that mean? It, How is oh, I know what it means. You know what it means. It's it's the it's the vulture, where it's just whatever. You know what whatever whatever. Shut <laughs> what? up. I, I think that they were mad at the whole situation. Like I think that they were like, ladies and gentlemen, Venom's in the MCU. You're welcome. Yeah. And then the, Disney went, no, no. <laughs> nope. And so they shot their scene where he's like in the you know at the bar. Yeah. And he leaves, and Sony's like, well then we're taking our toys uh-huh. and we're going home. Like we're not even gonna leave you. The scrap of symbiote. It's mm-hmm. that whole scene yeah. that takes place in the main Sony universe. Yeah. And the, the conversation they have, no. Yeah. It's not going to be that anymore. It may be the MCU exists as movies or something in that universe. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, because we've got She Will Tell You Four, and um, I'm, uh, Reese Eifens played Lizard, right? In yes. Amazing. He shows up briefly as some sort of hippie looking dude ah, in a van. Right presumably playing a different character although again like why it's just why guys why why would you do that why maybe he's under contract i don't know yeah man i don't like because again we talked about this on morbius that i just feel like re-siphon should have been the lizard should have been morbius's mentor that would have made sense that, that would have worked so fun i mean cool they don't want to they didn't want to commit they don't want to say what universe it's in well here's we're going to talk about it uh we were going to talk about it in our madam web episode which if you didn't catch it live is patreon.com slash only stupid answers um, it it just doesn't line up. Like the dates don't line up. Like when Madam Med- Web lines up, is it the same universe as Venom? And I think the other thing that gets me, and I just I just can't. I really hit me with. I think because this third one is heavily being emphasized as the last one. Yeah, we've got a whole Venom trilogy where he doesn't have his iconic symbol. The I symbol know. you can buy shirts of. The symbol that's on video games. He doesn't yeah. have it, and it's like, are you? kidding me it's the well, stupid everyone, little veins are you kidding me I, I hate the veins but also every single defender of the sony verse yeah. slash venom because they're inextricably tied like yes. there's no way you can because it's say, the one good one it's the one that makes it's, money <laughs> it's the one defendable part yeah and even then it's practically mm-hmm. defensible but is that they were like spider-man is coming yeah <laughs> they are gonna fight in probably Venom 2. Yeah. And then in Carnage, they went, well, we got we got to make room for Carnage. Yeah. But definitely Venom 3. Like, he is not in Venom 3. Yeah. There is no Spider-Man in Venom 3. Nope. Or if there is, it'll be a post credit scene that'll not matter because you know Tom Hardy's not making any more Venom movies. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is a calculated effort to clear the deck for the MCU to have Venom. We're oh. going to close out Tom Hardy. 
so that the MCU and their next Tom Holland Spider-Man trilogy can introduce Venom. Maybe that's what I want as a fan, and so I'm projecting. <laughs> certainly, that's what you want as a fan. Yeah. I think a lot of fans are, are are interested in that. And certainly, I don't want the Venom symbiote to come from the Sony-verse anyway. No. So I'm actually okay with the whole closed loop Have cleanup. Have get it in Secret Wars. Have him get it in Secret Wars. Okay, here's the other thing. So are, am I to understand that the goop monster villain, the goop predator, yeah. is another symbiote it's another one yes okay yes. because i saw some Not speculation no. online that it's like i think they're i think they were called xenophages or something that it's like it's a thing yeah, that yeah. eats symbiotes it's like i don't know man this trailer really makes you want to th- and i don't know why maybe maybe it's just like venom looks the way venom does because he's attached to a human maybe this symbiote's yep. attached to another thing and that's why it looks yeah. like that that'd be cool and we're not doing third movie last one out we're not doing king and black we're not doing no I'm not doing no. Or we're going to call this villain no. Sure. But can, that'll be it. Can I th- the I, I I hate that I do this stuff. That I what I'm about ready to suggest to you where it's like, "Hey, maybe this is how you can make the movie better because that's not it's pointless. They've made these are yeah. the movies they've made." But, you know, they're done. And it's not like it would be it would be kind of a kick in the nuts if Venom 3 was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's the last just, one, like, hey, guys, sorry. We're saving the best one for last. Right, right. Like, well, we got Ridley Scott, and he had a really interesting vision for the third chapter in the Venom trilogy. Yeah. And, uh, God, you know. that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here's here's a version, because, I, I again, I, I've said this. I just started. I mentioned uh, before. I'll mention again. Um, I started posting stuff on my personal channel, DJ Talks Trash. Uh, and I was going through some of my old videos on there that are seven years old at this point and are truthfully kind of embarrassing, but I've left them up f- for now because uh, <laughs> honestly, I need the view counts so I can monetize my channel again. <laughs> um, um, but um, one, one of them is uh, me talking about Tom Hardy's Venom before they made it, which is like right when they announced we're doing a Venom movie, it's not connected to Spider-Man. And right. my thoughts are, were then and still are, that's stupid. Uh, yeah. There, I can't, I am hard pressed to think of a character character more tied to another character than yeah. venom like it's I, you, it, you know it's funny you say that there's there are two joker movies yeah and joker made a billion dollars yeah 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 so. but at least joker doesn't it's not like batman was joker before joker was joker you know what i mean That's like true. yeah no, but not, you're not but wrong though does, yeah but in most origins like batman makes the joker yes into the joker. that's true that's a good point so okay but but let's let's play their game let's say okay we're making venom movies without spider-man in hindsight yes. armchair quarterbacking it i think it would have been cool if no symbiotes other than venom in the first movie yep and it's all about eddie chasing a serial killer cletus cassidy Yes. Movie two is Carnage. Totally. We kill Carnage. What? Movie three is Null, who resurrects Carnage. So basically, the whole time, Carnage is what we like to do with like Magneto in the X Men movies. It's like he's our guy. <laughs> he's yeah. our. Yeah. Yeah. We cast somebody amazing. I mean, Woody Harrelson obviously was the best choice in 1996. Yes. But I think that, uh, you know, you get somebody fun. I would have picked Jackie Earl Haley or somebody. Jackie Earl Haley would have been good to pull, put somebody from the director's chair of these movies in front of the camera. Andy Serkis would have demolished Carnage. Yes, he would have done a really a good job as Carnage. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But, you know, you get somebody fun to be Carnage where it's like you love to watch him. Yeah. You know, and uh, and then you do that. Yeah, you just you just make the Emperor Invader. Yeah. It's just the Star Wars trilogy, but, like, Venom is Luke, Han, Leia, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then maybe for the third one, you know, maybe Null and Carnage make the other symbiotes. And so you're like, well, he, oh, yeah. wow, he just barely scraped by with Carnage. And now he's got to fight five of them? That's, you got to move it. Oh, <laughs> you, could even, you could even make it more closed where yeah. uh, he's like, oh, like, you had so much more potential. He pulls the five he doesn't make them he yeah. pulls the five out of venom he's like these are the few these were your children yeah. these would have been the next and then puts them on people and they, they could have been characters throughout the established movies for the trilogy yeah. right like one of them's Anne, one of them's the, the husband or we probably wouldn't have had that plot in this better no. trilogy but, i will say you know, now that you mentioned i feel like Anne is the true mvp of this franchise she's great and yeah. she, I, don't, I don't think she's even in this movie right which like, is stupid and also that's another actress why are you the love interest in Venom movies? You're too good for I this. Know. I don't <laughs> understand half of these decisions. Most of the people in these movies, I'm like, they must have paid you 
well. Yeah. Like Woody Harrelson's at a stage in his career where he's not going to be hurt by a Venom. He's about, yeah, sure. I'll be carnage. <laughs> he's not going to go, yeah. oh, right. Yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the star of a Venom. Let there be carnage. Woody Harrelson. No one's no. going to ever introduce no. him that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's True Detective. Like, that's it. Yeah, you man. Know? Oh, my God. True Detective, Natural Born Killers. Woody Harrelson's great. He was great. I just rewatched the Planet of the Apes movies. War for the Planet of the Apes. He's fantastic. Yeah, in that. he's great in that too. So everybody, stay tuned for Spider Versity when eventually we cover Venom: The Last Dance. <laughs>